On the evening of August 20th, 2020, an officer-involved shooting occurred in the parking lot of a business on Highway 178. The following presentation is intended to help bring context to the facts surrounding this case. The following presentation contains a map of the location of the incident, surveillance video, cell phone video, radio traffic, and photos from the scene. The deputy involved in the incident was off-duty and therefore not equipped with the body-worn camera. At the time of the incident, the off-duty deputy identified himself as law enforcement in an attempt to peacefully end the situation. Therefore, it was later reviewed as an on-duty officer-involved shooting. Some of the audio and video has been edited to protect the privacy of the victims involved and to avoid the release of information that state law prohibits the sheriff's office from releasing. The redactions and edits do not affect the depiction of events presented in this video. Some of the audio and visuals we're about to present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. On August 20th, 2020, at approximately 6.02 p.m., 911 dispatchers began receiving numerous calls about a man driving erratically in East Bakersfield. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Hi, yes, I'm reporting a guy almost ran me off the road right here on Burnley. I don't know if somebody's reported this to you. Okay, what's the location? It's uh, Bandage and Oswell. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Hi, on uh, Oswell and Brundage Lane, there is a crazy driver driving around crazy. He's doing U-turns going the wrong way. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Um, there was a car, silver car, driving erratically on uh, 184 uh, Morning Drive, heading past Hillcrest Memorial. Uh, he was like all over the road. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Hi, I'm reporting a, um, it's a guy, he's in a silver car, I'm on the 178, going up towards Alfred Harrell. He's driving really crazy, he's going to hurt somebody, because he's, his front left tire is flat, and he's driving on just the, the rim probably by now. After numerous 911 calls, the suspect pulled into the Tony's Pizza parking lot off Highway 178. A bystander captured the following video on their cell phone. I don't know, the airbag was on. The suspect, later identified as Cesar Ruiz, drove behind the business and exited the vehicle. Please note, the surveillance cameras did not capture any audio. Ruiz has a firearm in his waistband. Ruiz appears to exit the frame, but returns shortly after to retrieve items from the vehicle. The following video has been sped up for time purposes. Ruiz can be seen walking through the front parking lot of the business. Deputy Mario Garza, who's been with the Kern County Sheriff's Office since 2002, was off duty and in the parking lot when he noticed Ruiz acting erratic. Deputy Garza saw Ruiz approach a vehicle in the parking lot, and several patrons subsequently approached Ruiz. Deputy Garza exited his vehicle and approached Ruiz. As Deputy Garza walked up, Ruiz pulled the firearm from his waistband and the patrons can be seen running away. Ruiz pointed his gun in the direction of the business and patrons. As Deputy Garza retrieved his concealed carry gun, Ruiz turned his body toward Deputy Garza. Deputy Garza, believing Ruiz was going to shoot him, fired one round. Ruiz fell to the ground between the vehicles. Deputy Garza identified himself as a Kern County Sheriff's Office deputy and ordered Ruiz to drop his weapon. Ruiz lifted his gun and shot at Deputy Garza. Deputy Garza was not hit. Deputy Garza took cover behind a vehicle that he later noticed was occupied. Deputy Garza convinced the driver to safely leave the area. A bystander approached the scene and appeared to be recording on his cell phone. However, it was later discovered the recording was not activated and therefore not captured. The following surveillance video is sped up for time purposes. 
Deputy Garza could see Ruiz was on the ground with his finger still on the trigger. Ruiz lifted the firearm, aiming towards Deputy Garza and the business in the background. Deputy Garza engaged Ruiz and fired. Ruiz's arm with the gun fell to the ground, ending the threat, and Deputy Garza stopped shooting. Medical aid arrived and pronounced Ruiz deceased at the scene. Deputy Garza was not injured. Here's a closer look at the suspect's gun. Deputy Garza was placed on routine administrative leave pending completion of the investigation. The Kern County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit investigates any use of deadly force by any member of the department. Their findings have been submitted to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for criminal review. On September 17, 2020, the Kern County Sheriff's Office convened an incident review board examining the use of force by Deputy Garza. The use of force in this case was deemed to be within department policy.